The madman actually did it. Yes, indeed, the verdict came in, not without a little bit of a cock tease, and we are not but a couple of minutes removed from the verdict being read. And I'll break it down really, really, really quick for everybody. Long and short of it is, Johnny Depp awarded $10,350,000. It gets a little bit weird if you weren't just listening specifically to the follow-up after the verdict was read, because he was awarded $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive. The $5 million is capped at $350,000. The jury was unaware of that, but they awarded it because that's what they wanted to do, I guess. But And then Amber Heard on the other side, she actually won on one of her counterclaims and she was awarded $2 million. So long and short of it, Johnny Depp nets $8,350,000 on today of all day. I mean, like, come on, you're going to go ahead and you're going to make a lesbian part time. Okay, pay $8,350,000. Don't forget that little bit because that's just a little, you know, tip to whoever's around once the check finally fucking clears whoever's gonna end up paying it on the first day of pride month like come on we just uh we just reached it on today and then you know on top of all of it isn't it just so perfect that today is in fact world narcissist abuse day yes the world's most famous narcissist has to pay up for her indiscretions. And let's get into some of this because I'm going to be going back to watching just the regular coverage of what's going on right now because I would imagine Amber Heard's sorry ass is going to be fucking right in front of a goddamn microphone here real quick. I just want to get the verdict, break it down a little bit so everybody has that information and then tomorrow all the spurging that happens and maybe we'll hear from Johnny. He's over in the UK right now touring with Jeff Beck and tonight's performance, wherever they're at, is probably going to be a Amazing. Anyways, a seven-person jury in Virginia reached a verdict Wednesday regarding Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, who had countersued Depp. Yes, so I guess, theoretically, they both won. But at the end of the day, come on, one person, you know, one person won what the jury thought might have been $15 million, and the other side got $2 million. And no punitive damages. No punitive damages. And even the claim that she did win was a little bit split. But anyways, let's, let's read on. Jurors read the verdict aloud, even though, okay, fucking get this one, right? So about an hour and a half before the verdict was announced or scheduled to be announced, okay? These dumb motherfuckers, it was like turning in a grade school test without realizing that there's more questions on the back of the sheet because, yeah, they reached their verdict, okay, when it came on the, the questions that were on the jury form, but they forgot to fill in the fucking, the damages part, okay? So they figured out uh, who said what and what we're deciding on. But they forgot the money. That's what I was figuring they've been spending the past couple of days, well, the past few hours deciding on how much money is going where. And it just kind of looks like at the end of the day, they're like, uh, 10 million and another five in a different column. Uh, that should work, right? It, <laughs> so yeah, it took them another about 25-ish minutes to come back with the filled out numbers that are on the claims. And that's what they decided on. Okay. So jurors read the verdict aloud in Fairfax County courtroom, finding that Heard defamed Johnny Depp when she wrote the 2018 opinion article from the Washington Post. The jury awarded compensatory damages of $10 million and $5 million, yes, for the uh, punitive damages, but that is capped at $350,000. That's law in Virginia, okay? Pirates of the Caribbean star was sued. Oh, sued Heard for $50 million, and now it's in the record. She's a fucking liar on every goddamn count. It's wonderful. Defamation lawsuits. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, Amber Heard, uh, she actually showed up to the courtroom in order to look really sad on camera. Still didn't produce a tear or anything like that, but I just seen that she just made a statement and all that kind of fun stuff and whatever. But we'll be talking about that tomorrow and uh, yeah, all of the fucking insanity that's going to fall out because of that. Because apparently the rest of the world is big shook on this because you just take a look at the New York Post's banner. That Johnny Depp wins defamation trial against Amber Heard in shocking verdict. Well, I guess you guys didn't fucking watch the trial, but these were the three statements that Johnny Depp, you know, proved beyond, uh, and his team beyond a fucking the, above the preponderance of the evidence. So what does that mean? More likely than not, all three of these statements were in fact defamatory, delivered with actual malice, and were in fact false. Amber Heard, I spoke up against a sexual violence to face our culture's wrath. This has to change. Yeah, she made it. She disseminated it. It was made with malice. It was false. Get fucked. Then, two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of her culture's wrath for women who speak out. Yeah, now get wrecked. Now you get to face your consequences. Sucks to suck. I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Yeah, exactly like losing their fucking livelihood off the back of a bunch of lies. 
but here here was the statement the the second one the second one was the one that uh, was found at least sort of true okay this is the one claim okay the one claim that amber heard ended up winning sort of on but at the end of the day she still lost eight million dollars so get fucked quite simply this was an ambush remember this wasn't even made by depp this was made by adam waldman okay apparently um the jury also found that the other two statements didn't you know constitute defamation but i guess this was just the biggest block of text and an obvious bit of uh, compromising when it comes to a verdict okay amber heard can take this win so at least she can't really stand up and say well i didn't get a fair trial you won on one of your claims too bad you didn't win in the overall well i guess life comes at you real fast quite simply this was an ambush a hoax they're setting oh they set mr depp up by calling the cops but the first attempt didn't do the trick the officers came to the penthouse thoroughly searched and interviewed and left after seeing no damage to face or to face or property so amber and her friends spilled a little wine roughed the place up got the story straight under the direction of a lawyer and a publicist and then placed a second call to 911. so apparently Apparently, that was the one defamatory statement that was made. Okay, cool. Not um, Amber and her friends in the media used fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and a shield. No, it was uh, recounting the final interaction that Johnny and Amber had, which uh, involved all the friends that came over. And I guess if they could have got the body cam footage that was um, released under the radar... That involved uh, Josh Drew trying to block everybody from coming in. You know, the big bad guy who was going to oh, gonna beat up Johnny Depp. It wasn't for his two big scary uh, security guards. Not a fucking fruitcake. But yeah, no. Two million dollars compensatory damages. You really do hate to see it. But I know. I know. The fallout of this is going to be just as good as watching this verdict live. Because I couldn't be happier. I want to wait for a statement for Johnny Depp. Because he's apparently watching this remotely in Europe. I don't know necessarily what time it is. But I don't think he really much cares. He's just going to be watching this and fucking celebrating. Because he absolutely d deserves it. Okay, it took six long fucking years. But the motherfucker finally got justice for Johnny Depp. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.